Solve the equation in quadratic form. Give only the real solutions. So we're going to be doing these two problems. If you take a look at the first problem, you notice that uh, the middle term has square root of x. And, and the first term right here is x. That's really the square of square root of x. You can think about it this way. Um, if you have let some variable, if you want to make it y equal to square root of x, the square of y is simply the square of x, square root of x, and that's just x. So that means this equation becomes x, which is y squared plus 2 square root of x square root of x is y minus 35 equal to 0. Now I turned it into quadratic equation in y so I can solve in terms of y at first. As you can notice we can easily factor this one. This is y minus 5 times y plus 7 equal to 0. So negative 5 times 7, negative 35. The middle term is negative 5 plus 7y, which is 2y. So now I can solve for y. y minus 5 equal to 0, or y plus 7 equal to 0. So that means y equal to 5, or y equal to negative 7. We're not done yet. Uh, this is solution for y. We need to go back to our original variable, which is x. We're solving for x. So we replace y with square root of x. So that gives us square root of x equal to 5. Okay. Now, you need to get this out of the radical. So you square both sides. If you square both sides... The square cancels the square root and whatever it's inside came out. So x is equal to 5 square or 25. So this is one solution. And here, square root of x equal to negative 7. Hmm. So this one does not have a real solution. They only want the real solution. So, here not a real solution. So the only solution for this one is x equal 25. Now going to our second problem, you have x to the 2 3rd minus 6 x to the 1 3rd equals 16. Now if you take a look at the middle term, x to the 1 3rd, if you square that value, you're going to get x to the 2 thirds. So, in other words, if I let this be a variable, if I'm just going to call it u, right? Then u square would be x to the 1 third square, which is equal to the x to the 2 third. 2 times 1 is 2 divided by 3. So, the first term would be u square, and the second term would be minus 6u. So, here you have, you'll end up having u square minus 6u equal to 16. Now, if you notice, this is a quadratic equation in u. But first, I need, before I can solve, I need to take this to the left side. One side has to be 0. So we subtract 16 on both sides. We get u squared minus 6u equal, minus 16 equal to 0. This is also easily factorable. Remember, 16 is 8 times 2, and uh, negative 8 plus 2 is negative 6. So this becomes u minus 8 times u plus 2 equal to 0. Again, eight, negative 8u plus 2u is negative 6u. Negative 8 times 2 is negative 16. So u would be equal to 8 or u equal to negative 2. 
Now let's go back to our original variable. Our original variable is x. So u, we need to replace u with x to the one third. So x to the one third equal to eight, and x to the one third equal to negative two. Now, in order to make this x, you can first change it to a radical, so it will be cube root of x, or you can uh, simplify this here. The way you can do this, if you raise this to the third power, so three, that becomes three over three or simply one. And remember, if you raise one side of the equation, uh, the third power, I have to do the same with the second equation. So that gives me x to the 3 over 3, or x to the 1, equal 8q. You can go ahead and use your calculator, raise 8 to the 3rd power, and you should get 5, 12. Right? You can remove the x here, just make this x equal 5, 12. And here you're going to do the same thing. You're going to raise this to the 3rd power. And that gives you x equal negative 2 cubed is negative 8. So your solution are negative 8, comma, 5, 12. You're going to enter your solution, your solution separated with a comma.